When you consider collectible whisky, distillery names like Macallan, Bowmore and Springbank are those that command some of the most reverence. Rubbing shoulders with these heavyweight producers, however, is that of an Italian gentleman called Silvano Samaroli. With over 50 years in the business, the Samaroli brand remains one of the most quietly powerful names in the industry, and it owes all of this to the passion, craft and dedication of its inimitable founder. Silvano entered the world of whisky in 1968, setting up Samaroli Import as the official distributor of John McEwan & Co brands in Italy. This included the Checkers and Abbott's Choice blends, as well as liquid single malts. In 1969, he imported a special cast strength liquid for Eduardo Giacone. This inspired him to seek out his own exclusive releases, resulting in a number of now legendary bottlings in the 1970s, including two 1965 vintage Brocladi and the 1971 vintage from Glengarry. The company's transition from importer to bottler began in 1979, when Sam Rowley bought a batch of Cadenhead's famous dumpy bottlings of single malt. At the time, Mario Rossi were the official Italian distributor for Cadenhead products, so Silvano was required to relabel them, which he gladly designed himself. The success of these saw him look to bottle his first casks, which he released with the unwieldy title of the Never Bottled Top Quality Whiskey series in 1981, unofficially referred to by the snappier title of the Flowers series on account of the labels. Again, these were his own designs. The bottling was done for him by R.W. Duthie, a harmonious relationship which lasted into the 1990s and produced some of the world's most sought-after whiskies, such as the 1967 vintage Laphroaig and the legendary Beaumore Bouquet. Bottles like this were the result of Samaroli's pioneering understanding that, even though he didn't live in Scotland, as an independent bottler he was able to take ownership of the spirit that he knew and loved. He selected only the casks that matched his taste, bottled them at the strength he felt suited them best, and presented them in his own unique style. He is rightly regarded as a visionary in the field of independent whisky bottling, and he brought an artistry to the practice as well as an important element of bravery. He was one of the earliest to advocate for cast strength whiskies and trusted his own intuitions selecting peated whiskies from Ardbeg and Laphroaig, despite struggling to sell them at first. He was also one of the foremost champions and supporters of Springbank's peated long row spirit. Silvano was a true trailblazer, and he set the stage for a number of notable contemporaries like Pepe Mongiardino of Moon Import and Nadi Fiori of Intertrade. Theirs, and in particular his influence, inspired not only a new generation of Italian bottlers in the decades that followed, but those who followed in his footsteps on every continent. Although clearly appreciated in his own time, you do have to wonder what he would make of the explosion in value and demand for his whiskies that took place so soon after he passed away in 2017. The magnetic attraction that people have to Samarelli bottlings continues to grow stronger. They are obviously exceptionally rare, but their enviable liquid quality and unique aesthetics makes these truly essential bottlings for any serious collector. Samaroli's portfolio is like a glittering constellation of stars, and one of the brightest within it is undoubtedly the 1967 vintage Sherry with Laphroaig. Released alongside a similarly sought after Tormor, the Laphroaig is widely regarded as one of the greatest whiskies ever made. It is an example of two icons of the whisky world at the very top of their game. The 1960s was a golden era in production for many Isla distilleries, with Laphroaig being no exception. Today it's one of the few remaining Scottish distilleries with its own in-house malting floor, and this vintage dates to the time when this provided 100% of the malt that they used. Modern Laphroaig uses only a small percentage of its own, with the rest sourced from Port Ellen, making this a truly pure example of what the distillery can produce. The crown jewel in the Samaroli portfolio is undoubtedly the Beaumore Bouquet. The coming together of this particular cask of Beaumore and Silvano Samaroli is one of those rare chance meetings that go on to become the greatest stories. The aptly named Bouquet is representative of the final resplendent blossoming of the long-growing Italian love affair with single malt scotch. Distilled in 1966, this was a legendary period of production at Beaumore Distillery, and at the same time Armando Giovanetti was hard at work promoting single malt in Italy and Sam Rowley, of course, founded his own company just two years later. Giovanetti had believed that lighter and younger whisky, Glen Grant five-year-old specifically, was best positioned to capture the hearts and taste buds of his countrymen, accustomed for generations to the flavours of Grappa. Sam Rowley had other ideas, though, and found himself a kindred spirit in his contemporaries at Caden Heads, who also believed wholeheartedly in the bottling of cask strength whisky. Their early collaborations were a sensation, and finally provided Sam Rowley with the platform and audience he knew his whisky deserved, and in 1984, he rewarded their faith in his product with a whisky that he felt they deserved, and it may just be the greatest ever bottled. With bottles of this rarity, opportunities to acquire them just don't come up very often. Platforms such as Whiskey Auctioneer offer you the best chance to acquire them. Our knowledge and expertise means you can be confident in what you are buying, and our services are available to anyone with an internet connection.